Two 23 year olds. Okay. So, <laughs> the first one, uh, ma'am, uh, your Z. name is? Z, like the last letter of the alphabet. Z, and your initial, first initial, ma'am? It's S. S. All right, Z, what do we got? What are we doing? What are you talking about? Um, I literally just got on here, so I just wanted to see if there was a topic question. If not, I have a question for you. What's the question? Um, okay, so I'm currently seeing someone who I've been with for a, a while now. We broke up, got back together, kind of, and um, I just I just feel like there is something that's holding him back from fully committing again. And I feel like it's from past. Um, well, we together. When we were together? Um, a few months, we were very new. We started off as friends, so our relationship, intimate relationship wasn't that long. Okay. So we kind of, you know, we built a friendship first. So you got to how long ago? A couple of months? Yeah, about a, a I want to say from my birthday, which was March, March, April, May, June, so like August. And, uh, okay, so, so like, how long have you guys been talking? Um, over a year, almost two years now. So first time you were together were for a couple of months. Yeah. And now you've been with him for two years. Oh, I thought you said how long have we been talking? Yeah, since the first time. Yeah, well, we're not together, but we've, you know, stayed in contact. I don't understand the question. Are you dating him again? So that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. I'm trying to figure out. It's over. One more time? It's, it's over. There's nothing to figure out. As far as us re reconciling, that's what I'm saying. No. Is he asking you to be his lady? That's what we're working towards. Is that's he asking you? No, no. There's no working towards it with somebody you've already dated. Well, that's not, that wasn't clear. So we're just. You ladies often don't want things to be clear. What I'm I hearing is an unclear story. I, d I met somebody we dated for a couple of months. It ended. 99% of relationships end. Mm -hmm. You went your way, he went his way. You guys started talking again, whatever. All right. And has he said, I want you, I want to see you exclusively? Is that. Well, Yes. Yes. No. yes. Okay. When did that conversation happen? How long ago? Um, about a month ago. All right. So you guys have been seeing each other excluded for a month. Technically. Not technically, ma'am. It's either it is or it isn't. Well, we're not in a relationship. We're not exclusive right now. That's the thing. We we've been we've been just in the talking stage again. I guess. See, gentlemen, what we're hearing right now is women don't want to, they don't like putting, this is what titles are for. You got nothing. Right. He's not your man. He's not trying to be your man. Yeah, and it sounds to me like it ain't going nowhere. You want something that he doesn't want. That's not true, though. All right. If he wanted to, if, if, here's the thing about men. When we want something, we make it known. Yeah. What do we want? What does he want, you said, or what, what do you want? For me? I, I, no, her. So I'm, I'm going to get from here and just say, what do you want? The young lady, I'm just, what do you want with him? Um, I want to be in a relationship, a long-term relationship with uh -huh. him. I see. Okay. okay. That's what, and you want that with him? Yeah. And does he want that with you? Yes or no? Yes. How has he communicated that? Ver saying that verbatim, but also saying that there's things that, that we need to fix or work through because of certain things that we've been dealing with in our past. You only were together two months before you stopped seeing one another. Okay. No. So about four months, get the, right. Okay, ma'am, I'm good. Young lady, this is too complicated. How a relationship starts is how it will end. This is too much chaos, too much confusion, I am 52 and I do this in real life and I can't even get answers to understand where you are. Chaos, no peace, no relationship. Mm -hmm. You want something that ain't there. There ain't nothing you need to work on with somebody you ain't even had a relationship with. How old is he? Um, he is about 30 now, 31. Yeah. It's a wrap. 
Um, I know your feelings are involved in it, but at 30 years old, you should, there should be more definitives to this stuff. How are you doing, S? Is it S or Z? It's S. I'm Z. Okay. Sorry, that's not what you want to hear, man. But uh, no, it's absolutely chaos. It's chaos. It shouldn't be chaotic. Mm -hmm. Especially that's if he's if he's good. almost. It is, man. No, I said I agree. Yeah, yeah, that's how I feel. Good. Yeah, and 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 that is an uneasy feeling, and you should not be starting off a relationship in an uneasy feeling. Get out now before you get your heart broken. Mm -hmm. What's going on, S? Thank you. I right. just wanted to know, like, how do I, um, I know you said something about attracting a high value man. I just wanted mm -hmm. to know the steps to attracting, like, how do I become a high value woman, like with my parents and just like my status? How long have you been watching my content? For like three months now. Mm. So, you know, I ask lots of questions. My first question is, why do you want a high value? Um, because I feel like their vibration is much, it's like, that's a different type of lifestyle. Like I've never experienced someone with like a lot of financial wealth. Like I never had that type of man. So okay. I kind of want that in a way. Uh, how do you know that? Have you been, around? you've never had it. Uh -huh. Where have you seen, where have you interacted with these men? I just seen it like I live in Atlanta, so when I go up to Buckhead, I just see like a lot of rich men that are wealthy, and I'm like, wow, like I wonder how it feels to actually live that type of lifestyle with someone like okay. like that. Did you go to college? Yeah, I did. Uh, did you graduate? Yeah. What's your degree in? Dental assisting. Was it? A, it's a two year degree. Yeah, it was two years. Okay, so just like going to school, getting into Georgia Tech has one standard, but getting into a junior college has another standard, mm -hmm. but getting into Harvard has another standard. Right. You're trying, the, the kind of man you're talking about, you're trying to get the, you're asking about getting in the top tier of men, but just like trying to get into school, the requirements are heavier because of the payouts. Mm -hmm. Is this, do you want the lifestyle or do you want the man? I kind of want the man because I know like he could provide and I would be okay. Like, cause I don't, I don't like working and just. just okay. Like but, but so in other words, you want the lifestyle. Yeah. And the man. But. No, the man provides the lifestyle, but everything you've talked about is a lifestyle. Right. You want a man cause you don't want to work. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. How tall are you? I am size four. Dress size? Probably size of 12. How much did you weigh the last time you weighed yourself? 215. Any children? No, no children. Uh, your mother and father, were they married? No, they weren't. My mom actually had me at a young age. Mm -hmm. How yeah. many kids did your mother have? Five. Okay. All by the same man? No. <laughs> How many different fathers? It's like four. It's like three different people. Three different fathers, of, including five yours, five. or four? Total. Um, I'm the first one. No, no. Is there three fathers of five kids, or the four fathers of five kids? It's the four fathers of five kids. No, it's the three fathers of five kids. Okay. Yeah. So, um... So you didn't come, so you came from a single mother with five kids and three men. Uh -huh. um, and like most people, you didn't grow up around these kind of people. They move differently. These men move differently. Yeah. And you don't work around them. You don't interact with them. Uh -huh. You just see the, you just see the conspicuous consumption. You right. just see what it is. And mm -hmm. you want that. Yeah. Okay. Um, in Atlanta, you also see a lot of drug dealers too, right? Yeah. Right? Uh -huh. well, Certain clubs, of course. Okay. Then why not date them? <laughs> they're very abusive, uh, disrespectful. Like, they're mm -hmm. the type that won't. I feel like, honestly, black men just don't like me. I don't know what it is. 
No, you were doing okay until you put all of us in one category. Right. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. You don't know all black men. You know very small set of black men, so let's not do that with my brothers, please. Okay. Would you, would you like me to say that? Would you like black men to say that about me? No, I wouldn't. I apologize for that. So, in other words, but but the rap, but the drug dealers, they got the money. Mm -hmm. They they got they got access to that lifestyle, right? Yeah. But you don't like the, but you don't like what comes with that. Yeah, the trouble, the watching over your shoulder, like those are the type of, mm -hmm. I'm trying to, my mom dated those type of men and I'm actually trying to drift away okay. from those type but of But what men. I'm trying to draw a parallel is just like drug dealers conspicuously consume a lot, but you don't like what you perceive comes with dealing with people like that. Mm -hmm. Men on this side got a lot of things that come along with it. And mm -hmm. what do you think they want from a woman? To be cooperative and to like, like the things that you say, like be cooperative and just have well, illegal immigrants. Well, illegal immigrants who get into this country mm -hmm. and stand in front of the Home Depot or day labor center, they get cooperation from their wives. Right. Men across the world want cooperation, but what is one of the first thing I say men want from a woman from a, from a physical standpoint? want like the physical like beauty basically before that because you say it because i don't really it's bits. feminine friendly mm -hmm. cooperativeness okay. so automatically you're 200 and some odd pounds right that x is you out of the game right there mm -hmm. you're 23 and height weight adjusted um, because if you know what, let me do this. So, uh, when was the last time you were dress size six? Oh, that was when I was like, I was like 13 years old, okay. And last year, I lost like 60 pounds, ended up getting I got in a relationship, gained 40 back. So, what's the, most, what's the most you've ever weighed? The most I've ever weighed was. 240. Okay. All right. Um, and how much do you say you weigh right now? 215. 215. All right. Um, 215. So if we height weight adjusted you to the average man, the average man in this country is about five nine and three quarters, five ten, so like mm -hmm. six inches taller than you. Mm -hmm. And height weight adjusted you, that would put you about around two hundred and sixty pounds. Oh wow! So if your weight was, and what I'm saying is, if I moved you up to a man's average height, mm -hmm. you're almost a hundred pounds more than you should be. Right. So at your, at your height, you should be 100 pounds less. Mm -hmm. So if, now, be honest, when you see the kind of men you're talking about, getting out of these cars with the suicide doors and these sports cars, right. are, you seeing, are you seeing large women get out of those cars? No, only like, like the skinny girls. <laughs> like girls that are really skinny. Well, what does that tell you? I would have to get to that size, basically. Like, but, but, but more importantly, so I always saw with the fitness component, and if you're youngest, you have no children, you got no reason. There's no, right. there's no excuse. Mm -hmm. um, but my, why don't you want to work? I don't know, because I want to learn more ways to get like money without spending on my feet. I don't know. It's just something I don't like doing. But I still do it though because I have to, I have to keep my type of lifestyle up. So, like, pay my rent. But I just, it's something about it I just don't like. Okay. Do you want children? Yeah, I do. How many? Like three. So 
So, man, why, in all honesty, why should somebody, why should you not have to work like everybody else in the world? Because here's another question. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, fresh face out of the shower, your natural hair, no makeup, no extensions, no lashes, what would you rank your right. ex? You can't use seven. <laughs> uh, a one, I guess. One to 10. Yeah. A one, a one is the lowest possible. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a one. <laughs> mm, okay. No, like, I feel like maybe a one or, yeah, maybe not even on the scale, probably off. I'm probably just like average, I guess. I don't know. Okay, average is five. Yeah. Maybe so, like a one or a zero. I don't know. That, that doesn't make sense, man. One to ten. Okay, so I'm a one probably, yeah. You know, man, what is what is an average grade? What's, a six, a, what's an average grade? What letter grade is average? A six, I guess. No, ma'am, of the, of the, on your report card, what's an average grade? F, D, C's, B's, A's, what's average? It's a C. Right. Right. A C is not a one. An F is a one. Yeah. So maybe I'm just an F. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so if you're being serious, if you're being no, serious, I'm serious. I feel if like you're being serious, serious, and I don't mean any disrespect, young lady, but mm -hmm. that right there wouldn't work. I mean, right. It's a pretty simple thing to say. You know, hey, I'm a one. I'm average. It's, it's like five. It's like these men are not. You're not on their level. Right. Um, and it's not really fair to you. It would be, it would that be a fair deal for him? Um, actually, it wouldn't. You're right. It probably wouldn't. But, but I'm just curious as to why, high value or not, why not just deal with an average man? You're right. But I'm asking, why not? I don't really know what an average man is. Have you ever had a relationship? Not a long-term relationship, no. Probably like four, I wouldn't even call it relationships. Probably like situationships, like four months, three months, things like that. But you've had sex. Yeah, of course. No, not of course. Okay. So, what is a wife's response? What's a woman's response? What's a wife's responsibility in the man? A wife's responsibility and responsibility in the beginning. In a marriage. In a marriage, mm -hmm. is to per, uh, take care of a man. Basically, stay home, cook, take care of the kids, things like. That. Well, if if everything you're saying is accurate and true, you know your mother having five kids yeah. puts you behind because then there's no way an average woman with five kids from multiple men can really raise those children. Right. You guys survived. So, you know. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of things about relationships that you did not learn, but what you but what it is for everybody mm -hmm. is you get who you are. Yeah. Um, and what I'm hearing from you is you want a high end lifestyle. Yeah. Why? I don't know. I feel like you live once, and when you when you're gone, you're just mm -hmm. just gone, you know. Mm -hmm. And it sucks. Yeah, I get it. Hold on, hold on, hold the phone steady. Keep mm -hmm. the phone steady. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. It's a high end lifestyle. But you ever go to Phipps Plaza? Uh, I'm not really into like Gucci, Louis, Prada. Like, you ever go to Lenox Mall? Yeah, I went like a couple of times. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you went shopping? Actually, today. Where'd you go? Hmm? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? What store did you go to? Like, average clothes for average people, H&M, okay. you know, Forever 21, things like that. Okay, hold the, ma'am, ma'am, please hold the phones. 
the face is cutting out. You need to hold it up a little bit. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. Right there. Leave it right there. Okay. okay. So I'm about to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Okay. H&M. Fast fashion. Fine. Um, did you shoplift? Did you pay no. I paid. Why, why didn't you just why didn't you just take it? Because nothing's free and I would go to jail if I did that. But that's what you asked. But nothing is free. You gotta get what you can pay for. Right. So why should you have a high end lifestyle that you can't pay for? I don't know. That's a that's a good question. I don't know. Because you can't pay for it. So yeah. you want somebody else to pay for it. Okay. If you want somebody else to pay for it, you got to give them what they want. Yeah. So, and this is what I think has happened a lot. You young ladies are seeing these lifestyles in front of your face. Mm -hmm. You don't know them. You right. have no idea who these men are. Um, you don't have any idea what it's like to be with these men. Um, but you desire it, you desire it. And that's, that's not okay, because that means, are you happy with your, your, your life right now? Yeah. Why not? No. Why not? Because of what parents expect, I don't know if you spiritual or believe in God, but just the parents that I was giving and just the circumstances, no, I'm not really happy with my life. Uh, uh, believe in God, yes, but you're 23 and you're a grown up, you're an adult, you're responsible for your own life. Yeah. Your, your mother, good, bad, or indifferent, stopped being responsible for you at 18 years old. Yeah. So if you're not happy, it would, it would make more sense to get happy with who you are versus trying to get stuff. Yeah, that is true. I think you need to, I think it would be good for you to sit down with a counselor. Mm -hmm. um, uh, how much social media are you on, like TikTok and Instagram? Just Instagram, but I deleted Instagram for three days and I got back on. Well, I'm just, I mean, this conspicuous consumption stuff is really woken a lot of young, young people's minds. The, the kind of lifestyle you're talking about is, is the people who can afford that legitimately are people in the top 1%. Right. But how do we get in the top, like, 1% without... You have to earn the money legally. Yeah. The men who get there, what, what kind of men who are not athletes, entertainers, or musicians, what kind of men earn that three, four hundred thousand dollars a year? Mm. You don't shop at Gucci making seventy thousand dollars a year. Mm -hmm. You don't shop at Tom Ford or, Val or Valentino or any of the stuff that's in Fifths. You have to have you have to have disposable income to buy a six hundred dollar belt. Yeah. But did you did you did you decide this kind of stuff when you were a little girl? No, because you, you lived in the house with your mother and your, did you have an apartment or a house? Oh, no, I got my own place. <laughs> when you were young, when you were a young little oh, girl. Yeah. yeah, when I was younger, for sure. Like, did, did you live in an apartment? Did you live in a house? Or? Oh, a house. We had a really nice, big house. How? I don't know. My mom just made it work. I don't know how she did it. But, 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 but did your mother graduate high school? Yeah, she went back to school after she... Yeah, she did. So how does how does a how does a woman with a GED and five kids afford a big nice house? Probably some things that I don't know about. How she probably the guy that she got with took care of her. I don't know, but I just I don't know. Like I don't know. It's I wouldn't be able to do it because I don't really me being in those shoes. Like I wouldn't know. How do that like I, I don't think I'm that I'm strong in that field to 
especially if I'm a single like mother. Yeah, you can see, and that's unfortunate. Your mother modeled a bunch of stuff, a bunch of stuff that's not helpful. But man, you got your dental assistant. That's middle income. That's average person. Right. You get an average life. Right. I kind of want to do other things and further it though. Like I don't know. You want to do what? I kind of want to go back to school and further, or get my own business. Oh, own business and what? I don't know. Like just. Young lady, listen to me what I'm about to tell you, okay? I okay. need you to really pay attention. Okay. There is no such thing as free money. Mm -hmm. Young black women have been told that having a business makes you rich or wealthy or well off. And an average black female business owner ain't rich. The average black woman in this country earns less than $30,000 a year. People don't pay you for nothing. So just because you hear people on Instagram talking about they need $5,000 in two days, when you talk, hear people talking about they have a business, what do they have a business in? Selling lashes? Bundles? <laughs> some sort of real estate? Yeah. It's all bullshit. Yeah. With some sort of Multi-level marketing. Yeah, not nothing that's going to last or leave a mark. It's, it's, it's what people who don't have real skills tell themselves so they don't have to deal with the fact that they don't have real skills. Their real skills are dental assistant. Their real skills are whatever. In this world, competence gets compensated. If you don't hear anything else, mm -hmm. get rid of this whole notion of I'm going to go to school and start a business. Why should anybody do business with you if you haven't even worked for somebody for at least five to seven years and become an expert at something? Lashes, hair, crypto, or what is another thing? I'm an investor, real estate, uh, uh, Supplements, vitamins, travel, that's all bullshit. And it has really affected the black community to where we have our young black women like yourself, when you really should be in the prime of your life, being as fit as you can be, learning how to cooperate with a man so you can actually start become a wife. Uh, build a family and some stability and take the long, slow path. But you, you're like most women. You want it quick. You want it fast. You want it easy. Mm -hmm. And yet that's lazy. Right. And it shows up on your body. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do anything that's going to be required any work. Well, then what kind of man is attracted to a lazy woman? A slum, pretty much. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a fair trade for a man. Yeah, it's not. So, I'm going to suggest that you, you, you really, one, there's a website called betterhelp.com. I'm going to suggest you go in there and find somebody to talk to. Okay. Because there are a lot of things that... Just get a just get a clean bill of health because that's some things you shouldn't be talking about on Instagram. But it, it it doesn't hurt to talk to somebody about things that happened in life, things that you're confused about mm -hmm. with somebody who is private uh, and who's actually trained to do that kind of stuff. But that's number one. Number two, young lady, you got to get you got to get yourself in shape. That is that is absolutely non-starter. Because one thing that I can say, my channel and my show is there's so many of our women who are overweight and obese, and that locks you out of the marriage market. Right. I have a quick question as well. So right. let's, just, let's just say if I like like get surgery or get my body done and look like a high value woman, right? And I attract the type of 
man, do you think that's gonna probably be for my self esteem? Or like, what do you what do you think? Like, that what can I do to a woman? If you did, if you got if you got your body done, it didn't work. Yeah, like if, if like if a woman gets surgery to actually look like these women that you're talking about, like, do you think that'll like change something? Like, I don't know. Nope. First off, that's one of the worst things you could ever do. And the fact that you're so young and even that's in your mind, that's how that's how warped our culture is. You're not supposed to want to have somebody cut on you. Mm -hmm. These women are dying for this stuff. But I always say this in image. You can put a turd in the suit, but it's still a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Your mindset needs to be adjusted. And, you, and, 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 and it doesn't work from the outside in. It works from the inside out first. Now what I'm gathering is you don't sound like you really like your life or like what the prospects for the future are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you gotta fix it. And it's not through get rich quick schemes. It's not through surgery and stuff like that. There, there are no fast solutions. It's called water, vegetables, five days a week in the gym, running, sweating, stretching, weightlifting for the rest of your life. But what do you think the people who go out here in the world, you think people just give folks money just because they show up? You got to earn that stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that if, if your mother's lifestyle is what it sounds like, she had a fast money kind of lifestyle. Well, she didn't earn nothing. And usually women in your mother's position are getting money from men or getting money from the, or from the state because they don't, they, she can't make the kind of money to pay for five kids and, 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 and not in a big house. Yeah. Um, average is not, average is good. High value, high value, high end. It's like stuff. all the way up there. Like, nah, you're right. Well, that's not. It's not even realistic. It's like, I mean, I'm gonna I'm say this, and I'm gonna get off. I want you to imagine you you back in high school, and I want you to imagine that you went to history or English or something like that, and you've been not studying it all year. Mm -hmm. You you ain't, you ain't been paying attention. You're skipping class. Then all of a sudden, it's the end of the semester. And you think you're gonna go in and ace the final and make an A plus in the class? Mm, without putting in the work. There's no way to, there's no way to do it, man. If you've already been, you can't do that. Who can make an F all year and turn around and get the top grade? Mm. And that's effectively what so many want to, women want to do. They want to live life at an F or C, an F, C, D, or possibly even a C level, and then. That's not how life works. 